Tonight, an emotional and profound first-time meeting between a man fighting leukemia and the stranger from New Jersey who donated bone marrow and saved the man's life. The transplant was in 2018. The reunion was tonight at a bone marrow gala in Manhattan to celebrate life. And these two men meeting for the first time, also doing just that. Here's Safan Kim. The man on your left owes his life to the man on your right. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. Um, we had run out of treatment options. Um, life expectancy for this type of leukemia um, is not long. Yet the two know almost nothing about each other. They don't know each other's names. They've never met. They've never spoken. They live more than a thousand miles apart. The donor from Lakewood, New Jersey. I think he's from Kansas. Okay, that's all you know. Yeah. You don't know if he's a family, married kids. He, yeah. had, he had, he's married, I think, four kids. Scott Navor was diagnosed in 2014. By 2018, he desperately needed a bone marrow transplant. Finding a match took months. It felt like years. Literally like finding a needle in a haystack. Garrett's only one out of three people in the entire world who was a close enough match. His brother is also one of those three. Uh -huh. I'm curious to know where the third guy was. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we never met, I feel connected. Um, genetically, obviously, we're connected. Tonight, for the first time at the Gift of Life Marrow Registry celebrating life event in Midtown, these two completely separate lives that came crashing together bound by generosity, got to meet face to face. They got to embrace in person. They may never let go. It's a privilege for me to be able to, to have this chance to save a life. Between them, they have 10 children. They are now a family of 14. In Midtown, Safan Kim, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.